patient stuff here from City. Kustovic to Bolger. It's great to see that, but providing you don't make a mistake, Rory, otherwise you're in trouble. Walker, that's what Brian Whitmarsh returns. Lovely turn from Cortez, number 30, plays in Keating. He's in a goal here, and Keating takes the shot. Yes! It's there! Oh, first attempt. 15 minutes on the clock. Cork City won. Slider over his Cork City with their first attempt. Find the back of the net. It was a lovely move from Cork City as they played the ball patiently from the back. Joe Brian Whitmarsh playing a lovely through ball for Keating. Talk us through this one. Straight through. Great. Very, very slow in, in building up this play. Right, ball straight down the line. Great ball. Walker pushing it through. And just here, just here, Lovely just watch turn. that. What a turn. And he just bisected the two centre backs and just slotted it home. Great goal. Beautiful really is goal. Let's goal. believe. It's happy birthday to Will Fitzgerald. But it's uh, Barrow to take this one. It's deep. It's very deep. It stays in. Pendick up against Hackenden. It's the better of Hackenden. Hackenden gets back there just to get a foot in. Good stuff there. From Hackenden. Ball played across. Cork will take that into his arms. Great ball across the box there. Well, I think it was ball. a touch, Bill. Just a touch. Just one touch. That's all that was needed. 20 minutes on the clock. City leading. Thanks to that wonderful goal from Rory Keating. If you watch the replay of that action over there in the far side, Phil. Yeah. Hackenden did well to recover initially, but... He did. And then Bolton then had, had a snip at it. Just, just ball game. across. Any touch, you drill this in now. Joe Brian Whitmarsh is completely on marks on the edge of the box, and I think Greg Bolger just realised that now. And Healy plays the ball across. It's deep. It's very deep. It's the key day. Oh, it's not the crossbar. I think there was a touch. And now Brian Whitmarsh oh. hits it on the volley. Walker plays the ball back in first time. Oh. It's like a Rovers. Very very nervous here. Good ball yeah. from all out between Cork City's first corner. Oh, that's. That was something Keating's else. Header. Keating's header. Taking the deflection. Just Mike Nicholas got a touch on it. See the ball played across by Healy. Great, and he gets up here. Keating gets up. I don't think there was any oh. touch. I think he just hit the crossbar. Oh, Brian Whitmarsh in here. And Tony sure. Olabi is in. And he's got a chance. He's one of with the keeper. Oh. He takes shot. It's over the bar. Oh, great chance for Cork City. Great Tottenham chance. Wallaby holds and his face. And he knows that. It was harder to hands. put it off the bar, Rory. You but know, again, he was work, unlucky. Great work, unlucky. Great work for Wallaby to get into that position. And he's looking very dangerous. And that ball is played in behind that That's a great ball defense. through again. Cork City looking menacing in the attack tonight. Yeah. Ball is played through. So Brian Whitmarsh yeah, plays Brian Whitmarsh it Whitmarsh again. Lovely football and just just got under a shot. Just gets John under. Mahan and he just had to clear his lines. Just couldn't take the chance. Ian Buckley just having a bit of verbal as they're on the slag over back to him as well. Just off camera. Frank Lee back now. Space opened up to shoot a little bit there, but he didn't decide to take it. Now the shot will open up, and that is a nice effort there. Ooh, from the substitute for Brees Hartman. He's proving a handful since he's command, the former yeah. German under 19 international. And that was a nice save there from Jimmy Corkin down low yeah. to his right, Phil. Yeah, it's a lovely save. I think there might have been a deflection before that, though, Rory was there. Let's have a look. He cuts inside. He just cuts inside, opens up very nicely, set up yeah. for himself. And here he is again, Spinecker. Loves that crossfield ball. He does. Lovely left foot. Fun of fact now. Because Hartman ahead of him. Hartman looked to cut back in his left foot. Goes back onto it. His right foot. Left foot again. Twisting, turning. Oh, right. And Corcoran had to be alive to that one. Yes. Did well to hold on to it. City's number 20. As we look at that again there. For yeah, he cuts in. You know. Just left John Donovan just in his wake. The corner comes in. It's a good corner. Drops. Just like over the player there to meet it. Now Cork City will have a chance to counter-attack. And it's that ball over the top. The Tunde Owalabi. He does well to keep it in. Look at Keating. Look at Keating running. Looking for an option. Tunde Owalabi takes the shot. That's oh. a fine effort. From Cork City's Tunde Owalabi. Not 
Matt Healy not happy, didn't play at square, but that was a great effort. He's given out. He's, Matt Healy has given out to a lad not that he didn't put a square Have across the box. Have a look at that box. again, Phil. Here is. Great ball over, over the top. Olabi running. It's that ball that Thunder Olabi loves, Phil. Watch Keating running in. I don't know if we'll see it here on the screen. He did well to keep it in, Phil. He did, did very, very well. Look at it going out of Keating running in. Matt oh, Healy wanted it to square. Wanted. Still, time on the clock. And still, Slugger Rovers in possession. Shots for a free kick for Slugger Rovers. Ball just thinks that's a foul. It is. Ah, uh, yellow card. Matt Healy's gone. A shot, a second yellow card. He's gone. He's gone. So that means Matt Healy has shown his marching orders. Has given his marching orders. He is insidious, is Healy. Yeah, yeah. I think. I, to be I'd honest like to with you, again, Phil, I think like it's a... harsh enough. I think it's harsh enough. Healy's adamant it's not a yellow card. Yeah, but he can't do nothing about it. Last week, Cork City, the man sent off and they were leading by the goal tonight and lost 2-1. Not saying that's going to happen oh, here. It but won't happen tonight. And that was injury time as well. It's a high foot. It was a high foot. But it, it, wasn't, it wasn't reckless, really, oh, you know. I should say. The referee, no hesitation in showing. Yeah, and Matt Healy knew straight away. Side. Bolger. Oh, he gives the ball to Alabi. Oh, Alabi now just head down, wants to go to the corner flag. He's got Bolger behind him. It's a man ahead of him. Takes the shot. That's okay. That's okay. That'll waste 10 15 seconds. 60 seconds left for <laughs> Phil. <laughs> I know my nails are bitten off here. <laughs> Phil's putting up whatever hair he's got left. <laughs> <laughs> love that. And again, can Slugger Rovers mount an attack here? Referee still not going for full time. Give him an extra 30 seconds now. Pinacker. He's left leg. Tries to play the ball forward. He can't. He takes the shot. That'll be Corcoran. Yeah. And the war goes up. And that you think is probably that. You can hear the anticipation from everyone here waiting on the referee's full time whistle. I'd say it'll happen here now, Rory. That's it. And that is it. Cork City have ended a run of six straight defeats and have picked up their first win since April 10th as they've beaten Sligo Rovers by a goal to nil. Rory Keating's goal in the first half. The difference between the sides. There's a tremendous performance from Cork City tonight. They've beaten Sligo Rovers by a goal to nil. They've ended that run of six straight defeats to pick up just their third win of the season. That is going to change the mood around here at Turner's Cross.